Hey, what's going on, YouTubians? This is Back to Reality Comics, coming back at you with another comic haul. I got about, I would say, like 80-something 80, 80 comics here I got uh, throughout the week. Went to a couple of local uh, comic stores here. And also went to a really new place. They call, uh, it's called uh, Second and Charles. Uh, I've never been there before, but it's a really great store. Uh, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of, like, dollar comics, 195 I mean, it's crazy. So, um, yeah. Without further ado, let me go ahead and get this going. So I got here barbed wire. Uh, I don't know. I just saw this cover, and you know, this is Adam, Adam Hughes, I believe. Yeah, it has AH right there. So yeah, I got this one. I got the first one. Uh, I don't know. I think it's the second one. This is, yeah, volume two, number two. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but uh, it's a really great cover. Got that one. Uh, I came across this Vampirella, number three. It's a real nice cover nice I uh, came across also Star Wars Darth Vader and, uh, and the Cry of Shadows number four it's a Dark Horse comics uh, anything with Darth, uh, Darth Vader on I'll get it cuz you know it's Darth Vader come on it's really cool I got this one Injustice in, yeah, I'm sorry is Injustice God Among Us uh, year two is number eight um, I don't know what the first few look like but um, this is a really nice cover. It has a, a whole bunch of stuff going on here. I just liked it. I got it. I saw it there. Now, I'm not really huge in X-Men, but I, when I saw this cover, man, I was like, yeah, I got to have that. I am. N I don't even know who this is. Is this Is this like a new, uh, uh, what's his name? Crap. Cyclops. Is that a new Cyclops? I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments below. But, man, look at that. Girl has a Glock on his face. He's like, oh, dang, I ain't going to make it tonight. <laughs> This is Uncanny X-Men number 18. Got that one. All these are are two dollars or one dollar co uh, comics that I bought here. I got found this one JLA number one. It's a real cool cover. It has all all the you know founding people there, Batman, Superman, all the all the Justice League right there. Pretty cool. Found this Wonder Woman. It's actually my second cover of this one, but I found it for uh, 95 cents. So there's Wonder Woman number 41. Then uh, I don't know much about this one, but I was super excited to find it. I just like you know futuristic you know robots, cyborgs, all that stuff. It's pretty cool, cool to me. So it's called Silent Dragon. This is number two of six, so it's like a mini run. But um, I don't know. I found this. I thought it was pretty cool. So I had to have it for a buck. And then I found this too. This is a Warlord of Mars. Deja Thoris. Um, this is number 22. Um, there's a bunch of other cover uh, variants of this one. Uh, more nude, more naked ones, you know, showing off the nips, all that stuff. But I don't know, I found this one, I thought it was really cool. I liked it. I, I came across this one here too, and uh, I've never heard about it before. It's called uh, Jupiter Legacy, and this is number one. And yeah, I, don't, I, I thought it was really nice. At first, I thought it was like an old Superman, but then, of course, you know, I saw the, the emblem and all that, and I, I was like, I still don't know who that is. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I saw that guy, and I was like, had to have it, 99 cents, no problem. I also came across this one. Killapalooza, number one of six. This is like a, uh, a, a mini run, I guess, but I don't know, I just saw the cover. It reminded me, it's kind of like G.I. Joe with the, the ninja guy and all that but that was cool and this right here I was really excited to find because I didn't even know they had comic books of the lone wolf well this is like the lone wolf 2100 but um, there's a samurai movie called lone wolf and the cub and um, I've seen all the movies it's a great samurai movie uh, but I came across this one for a buck it got a couple of spine ticks but you know whatever and she's over here with the dragon in her back she's all jacuzzi up so this is Lone Wolf 2100, number 8. I'm going to have to check out all the other covers because I'm going to actually, actually want to read this one. Because um, if it's anything like the movies, I mean, it's, what can I say? I mean, they're great movies. And then I came across these two. I was actually excited to find them. A little connecting cover here. And I don't think it's going to stay. There you go. That stays. So that, that's uh, Justice Society of America, number 26. 
I believe there's still another one that goes here, but I'll find that later. And maybe another one that goes here because there's an extra person there. So I don't know how many there is to this, maybe four or five, but either way, I found these two at a buck a piece. Couldn't say no. Had to have them. Got them. And uh, I came across this here. I, this is not the only one I found. I found much more in my other uh, local comics, uh, local comic store. This is just the one that came in this pile. Uh, Witchblade number 147. Now, um, I didn't know about this this uh, run here, but I mean, I, don't, I, I know that the ones before this, the, the artwork's not that good. But I guess from the 130, I don't know, one, I don't know 100s and up, I think it started changing. And they started making them more detailed like this. But the artwork on these things are amazing. The cover, the inside, I mean, what else can I say? Beautiful, beautiful things. So that kind of does it for um, that local store. Let me go to the other one here. All right, so I came across this one called Bubble Gun. And this is number one. This is a uh, cover B. And yeah, I, I just like it. It looked pretty cool. I normally got it. I basically got it for this cover here <laughs> because I had to have number one and two. So I had I got this one here, Bubble Gun number two. This is cover B. And I mean, what what do I have to say? Look at that cover. I mean, it's everything I like. It's cyborgs. This girl's decked out with guns all day, every day. She's got all these extra exoskeletons. And I mean, what can I say? Pink hair, she's looking all sexy, looking all nice. That shit is amazing. I also came across Cable and X Force, uh, number 16. I'm not a big Cable fan, but I mean, that's just a cool cover. Had to pick it up. There's a couple other ones I saw too, but I didn't pick them up for some whatever reason. I'll probably, you know, go around this week and get them. Uh, I also got this one here, Wayward number one. I don't know, some weird image comic, but I got another one that looks pretty cool. And I got this, I think it's cover A or B, not too sure, and then I got the other one. So, yeah, just had to have it. I liked it. I came across this uh, image uh, comic. It's called uh, Rumble, and this is Rumble number one. I got this for 95 cents. And I also came across this one here, Wildstorm DV8 number 14. I don't know, girl looks badass. Yeah, just, you know, gothic looking. You know, bad to the bone. She ain't taking nothing from nobody. So, got that there. I came across this one too. I was super excited to find it. And I'm surprised I found it in the dollar bin, but whatever. I mean, I'll take it. So, this one's The Gun, number one. This is a comic exposure. Uh, it's a New York Comic Con exclusive from 2015. And it was actually signed. I don't know if you can see here. It's They basically use black marker on a black uh, cover there but I mean it's signed and I don't know if it's from this third person or this person Uloa or Vares so either way very happy to find that cover I seen the white one I, I don't see anybody selling the the black cover but I mean this thing's great it doesn't even have any any spine ticks or anything so for a dollar I mean sign sign comic doesn't have a COA of course but I mean some most of that can be verified anyways and then uh, I found this one, Just a Pilgrim number one. <laughs> I don't know, I just found it to be pretty cool. At first I thought it was uh, Jonah Hex because he has a messed up face. But uh, no, it's, it's just something different. I guess he's fighting some crazy zombie monsters. Ripping this guy's head off, that's amazing. So I also came across this, which I was very excited to find. This is uh, Wraith number one. And I guess this is just a variant cover, but I just love this cover because it has like a really cool old vintage uh, Rolls Royce in the front. And like little evil guy in here. This guy almost looks like Joker right here. I don't know if you guys can see him in the video. And this guy's wearing a, a mask. And I don't know, I just saw the cover and I was like, yeah, I gotta have that one. But then I was also fortunate enough to find this one here. This is Wraith number two. And uh, this is another variant cover. It has, literally has nothing in the front. It's just, you know, basically all the, all the information of the cover is in the back page, which is cool. I like that idea that this, this cover, uh, this comic uh, group does that because, you know, it kind of doesn't take away from the actual cover. So that's pretty cool. So it has like Nostradamus and it's like 25 days till Christmas and such. So 
Yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I got it. It was a buck. And uh, I don't know. I think it's go for like twenty, thirty dollars. But either way, I mean, just cool, cool picture to have, cool cover to have, I guess. Let's see here. All right. I came across Red Sonia, She Devil with a Sword, number one. Eh, I don't know. I just liked it. I'm not really a big fan of Red Sonia, but that was pretty cool. You know, she looks like a badass. What else can I say? And then these next four covers, or no, I'm sorry, five books here. I, I found them because I found the first one at another local store. I don't have it. I should have pulled it out to show y'all, but either way, let me show you guys this. So I got Red Knight, uh, number two, and also has here Justin Cristelli thanking some guy called Santana. I don't know who that is. But uh, I guess that's one of the co-writers of this book here. Let me see if I can show. See Justin Cristelli up there at the top and JC Grande. So very happy to find that. Uh, there you go. That's better. So it's signed. Got down for a buck. Actually, you know, I got all these five for five dollars. So yeah, a buck a piece, I guess. Also round numbers three and also hi Justin Cristelli. Got number five. I don't have number four for some reason. I couldn't find it. I guess somebody took it. And also signed as well from, you know, Justin Cristelli. And then got this one here, number six. And I got number one. I mean, I'm sorry, number seven. Number one, I got it in my in the long box down there. I should I should have brought it out, but either way, I get the point. They're all signed. Got them for a buck a piece. Can't say no. Maybe it blows up, becomes something great. So all, all seven of them, excluding number four, of course. I came across this also in my local store at the dollar bin. Uh, dollar bin. Uh, Amberetta is uh, number zero. And I don't know, whatever. I don't know what it is. But little girl has a cyborg arm and all that. It has double signature. Don't know who maybe signed it, but it looks cool. Also, no COA, so. But. Well, I don't know if you guys saw my previous uh, videos. I had some uh, big trouble in Little China. Um, I guess, like, uh, virgin covers, I guess, which you might call them, because they didn't have anything on the front. So I came across a couple other ones that were pretty cool. So I found this one. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I was always a big fan of the movie, so I got that one. And I also got this one here. And they came with Mylar, so that was pretty cool for a buck. <laughs> Actually, I think the stickers are still on. Yeah, look. I'll be getting them for a dollar twenty-five each, or five for five dollars. That's just in my local uh, um, antique store. Actually, I Actually, got these at an antique store. And yeah, they got a lot of comics there. And I got this one here because they got the three, his three main henchmen, and uh, the main samurai guys. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I got that one. Also got Daredevil, number 347. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm a big Daredevil fan. I didn't have that cover anyway, so went ahead and bought it. I got this one, Cyber Force, number one. This is cover A. And yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool. Real badass looking people on it. <laughs> this is a funny. I started reading the first cover, uh, first one of this one. This is a ballistic number one, <laughs> and it's funny. I don't know. It's it's just he's he's just he's just a loser, <laughs> and he lives in some sort of futuristic world where like their weapons and their machinery are all like kind of symbiotes because they're alive. And this thing, this this gun connects to him, and they become one. So I, I just read the first one. I thought it was funny, but I also got number two. It's real nice. See, it's basically his car. It's like an old Chevy, and um, it's got wings. Basically, all the cars in the future of that, of that, you know, future fly and everything. So, we're we're happy to get that. I thought it was very exciting, very interesting. I found uh, Deathlock number two. Just a whole bunch of gun. He's ready to war. <laughs> I, I just thought it was awesome. And I also came across Transformers. All Hail Megatron number one. 
I mean, I've been looking at these, you know, Transformers more and more, and I don't know, I keep, I keep liking them just because, you know, they have all these cool robots. There's the old, obviously, the old Megatron from the, you know, 1990s, you know, series and stuff like that, but either way, I liked it just because it has, you know, Optimus Prime dead there. It was cool. I like it. Bear with me, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. Also came across this one. Secret Origins, the, the Golden Age Superman, number one. And yeah, I, th I mean, what can I say? What a great cover, you know? Just hoping for the day I find Action Comics number one. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so I got Daredevil, number 64, with Black Widow in the front there, showing her boudet. And then Daredevil, 63. Also another Black Widow cover. Came across... Daredevil 17 and I was actually really happy to find these this is the uh, the Ten Commandments I didn't get all of them but I got number 75 thou shall not kill number 74 thou shall not steal number 73 uh, thou shall not lie 72, honor your mother and father. Number 71, I am your God. I thought that was pretty cool. So I got those all a buck a piece. So I was happy to find those. I also came across this one here. Dead at 17, number one. Something called Viper Comics. I don't know, I've never heard of that company, so looks interesting then I also came across these other witch blades that I was looking at after I found that one there got witch blade number 149 and I, like when I say man these these covers are amazing they're just so detailed Look at how many little ripples you have to do there I mean what can I say that thing's amazing also found 135 138. Oh, it's gonna fall. Move this out the way here. 138. 133. Number 130. And number 134. Alright, so that kind of ends for that local comic store. And the ones that are coming up I got from that second in uh, Charles. It's like a second-hand store for books and stuff. But, I mean, that this book place was amazing. It had so many things in it. So, yeah, I was super excited to find these. All right, so let's just get it started, get it finished. The book's getting... The well, video's getting a little bit long. So, also, I was very happy to find this as well. Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth. And this is like a uh, cover swipe. I guess a homage to the... Uh, um, the lone wolf and the cub because the guy is basically a samurai and he goes around with a a little stroller where the kids at so he basically you know it's kind of a cover swipe that's number 11 uh also came across this one deadpool wade's uh wade wilson's uh war number two of four and i also found number one of four so i'll be looking for those extra two uh as soon as i find them so I can see if i can get them I also found this one here, Batman and Superman, Doomsday number 1, 3.1, new, new 52, it's like one of those uh, reflective ones, it's kind of hard to see, this one doesn't really change that much, but yeah, it's reflective, that was pretty cool, this was another Transformers that I found, that's, uh, I believe that's Hatchet, or, yeah, Hatchet, I think that's her name. I don't know. I'm not very good with Transformers. But this is Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Number two this is Cover B. And, I mean, pff, that thing's awesome. I like robots and all that, so I always take those. I also came across this. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales, Steampunk. Number part two of two, I guess. 
and um, yeah, it's another another great cover. I just you know love anything where it has cyborgs and you know people like that. Really awesome. I also came across this one, Superman speeding bullets, and what can I say? <laughs> That's just an amazing thing. I'm glad I have it because I have the uh, Superman, the yellow, yeah, the yellow one, and it actually has Superman in that in that pose as well. So it's kind of like a cover swipe of that. Pretty awesome. I also found Justice League of America, uh, number twelve. There's also a connecting cover. I got the other one too for this one, so I got two now. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more covers because there's oh, twist that over this thing. Pretty sure there's covers because there's like ex extra stuff over here that this guy's missing and Wonder Woman, the other pieces right here. So I like that one. Now I'm super excited to find this one because I think there's a, a movie or a book or I'm sorry, a movie or a TV coming out. I'm not too sure, but this is uh, Cloak and Dagger number one. This is a one shot. And yeah, I think right now it's going for like $15. So I've, I've, I got it for a buck. Move this out the way here. Then came across Spider Woman. I'm sorry, Spider Woman. <laughs> Spider Man and Red Sonya. And I don't know, just crazy cover with Venom in the front. You know, Sonya and uh, Spider Man right there. And this is number one of five. So I got that for a buck. Also came across this one here, Superman Rebirth. DC Rebirth number one. Not a very crazy cover, but I mean, it's real nice. And every time I see this variant, I love it because I'm a big fan of uh, of yellow covers. So I got this one, Superman number one variant. Um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, I just love that. And then like the people on, all on on his actual suit and stuff. Just an amazing cover. And then I was super excited to find these next two that are coming up. So I found Spawn number 220, and that's like the variant of the 200. And as soon as I flipped the cover over. Voila, Spawn 200. <laughs> I mean, this thing has spine ticks till the end of November, but I mean, for a dollar, you know, I don't care. I'll take it. And it doesn't really depreciate like how how beautiful the actual main cover it is. So I mean, they just they they they, they break color, but why why? What was I gonna do? Leave it there? Nope. Not gonna happen. So I got this one, the super giant size uh, anniversary, and yeah, Spawn 200. I mean. That's not a good cover to find out there in the wild. I mean, you must not be looking good enough. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much for all the ones I got just this week. But uh, I'm glad you guys took along. Um, you know, it's a little longer video than normal. But, I mean, I'm gonna, I hope you guys like the covers. And, um, like always, you know, subscribe, comment. You know, let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much. Have a good one.